everybody, welcome. My name is Ryan and we are here for our series, Staff Get to Know. I'm excited today to get to introduce these fellas. These guys are amazing and I want you to get to know more about them. So the first question we have for today is obviously, who are you and what does your day to day look like? So whoever wants to go first, you go ahead. I'm Daniel Villa. I'm uh, the facility coordinator here. And uh, my day to day here looks like I have a plan. I start with a plan when I get out of bed in the morning. I pray on that plan, and by the time I get here, usually it's changed. Um, <laughs> yeah. And that's what keeps it interesting. I love it. I love it. Could have never planned it. Man, I love that because there's sometimes, you don't know this, but the behind the scenes we see sometimes is I'm walking in the hallway, and there's Dan in the family room area cleaning up someone's barf on the floor from the kid <laughs> or something like that. And when you're saying, I love it, I love it, I'm like, man, those are moments where I might not say that. <laughs> But that's how awesome it is and how awesome you are at what you do. Who are you and what does your day today look like? Uh, you bet. My name is Mike Schneider. I'm the director of operations and I could very easily say what he just said. Facts. From the From the perspective <laughs> that you, you wake up thinking you've got a schedule set. Today's a great example. Yeah. Uh, I had a 30 minute meeting that went to two and a half hours, which threw my <laughs> you know, kind of schedule all uh, awry there, but that's, that's all good. As director of operations, I have responsibility for the, the building and the grounds, facilities, our administration, production, food ministry, etc. So the, the stuff that is kind of separate from the, the frontline ministry types of things, the, all of the, the blocking and tackle need, that needs to go on uh, so that this facility can be uh, well run, uh, a five-star type of environment, which is our, is our goal. And then uh, many people know, some don't. We have five or six mission partners that reside in this building. And so Dan, along with others, myself, we are their point people for all things that go on in their ministries as well. So. We just love hanging out and uh, do, doing the best we can to be ambassadors for Hope Elam to everybody that comes through the door. Yeah, and you really can't have the spiritual atmosphere we have without the order too. And that's what's been so great to see you do, Mike, and all the things that you do behind the scenes that people just don't see to see how well this runs. Like all that doesn't happen without someone saying, okay, someone's gotta get into the nitty gritty of the details. Someone's gotta have the meetings. Someone's gotta have the talks. Someone's gotta have the discussions um, and the structure and plan. And so appreciate you, Mike, for all the things you lay out to make sure that happens on a regular basis. And so today, not only do we have these great questions we've been talking about, we also have a game for our staff. We're always gonna be having a game for the staff get to know. It's gonna be different for each and every single uh, pair that we have that we're interviewing. And today's game is Mystery Box. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so what's going to happen is we're going to get this set up here in a second. We're going to get our contestants ready. But what's going to happen is Mike and Dan are both going to get an opportunity to reach into a box. And they can't look. They have to look away. They reach in and they feel and have to guess what they think based only on what they're touching the object is. It's going to get interesting. I guarantee that today. So get ready. Here we go. Alright Mike, go ahead and reach that hand on in there. <laughs> did it did it did it did it did it Wait, Miles seasons almost all of his food with light, bright well, coffee, coffee grounds. That's a little known secret. I think I've heard it. I think I've heard it. Right? Uh-huh. <laughs> that is not correct. I think we were supposed to say that. Sorry, Miles, we left that secret out. <laughs> Keep it secret. Keep it secret. Daniel! Yes? You may go ahead and reach your hand into the box. Oh, uh, 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 uh. A succulent. Go ahead and grab your hand back out. It is in fact a succulent. Oh. I am the smartest man alive. <laughs> hey, we're two for two. <laughs> are you sure about that? Well, that's awesome to get to know a little bit more about you guys and who you are. The thing that we wanted to also kind of dive into a little bit as we're talking about spiritual as well is where do you connect with God? Well, for me, would be people coming up, knocking on our door, looking for yeah. what uh, the church can do for them, just to love them and uh, help them in any way I can. Yeah. Sometimes it's just listening. Um, that's uh, when I 
feel God showing his spirit. Well, I want to first chime in on that. I too yeah. have got to witness Dan just being so Christ-like to people that show up and, and he is the epitome of being the hands and feet. And so it's great to watch. So kudos to you, Dan, for, for doing that. You, you set a great example for all of us uh, to follow. So I think I'll answer it two ways. And one was, I love being a part of being the hands and feet uh, uh, in everything that we do here at Hope Elam. And when you look at just community night or even our Sunday morning experiences or in the commons or we're outdoors, wherever uh, we are with the people that are here, uh, you can just see God in all of that. It's just godly ordained. So I love uh, experiencing that. On a more personal level, where do I find it? Would be via my son, Corey, and all of the the worship music that we experience throughout the week. And on the two services here, uh, either in some way, shape or form on Sunday mornings on Elam, Corey's here with Dawn. And then uh, as a family, because it's Sunday morning, I'm otherwise occupied with Hope Elam <laughs> activities. To say the least. <laughs> we, we, will go to, we will go to service together either Saturday night and or Sunday night. So we get our, our fill and watching Corey thrive in that yeah. and seeing how people respond to him air guitaring in the middle of a worship service oh, yeah. oh, and uh, directing them, um, playing the cajon on the, be- the bench, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, those are the most, I-, I find God in that because I think Don has a great saying, uh, Corey is more like what we're going to see in heaven than mm. otherwise. Mm-hmm. The innocence, the, the just carefree worship, I don't care what anybody thinks, I'm just going to praise God the way he has been gifted to praise God. So to mm. be a part of that literally day in and day out, that, that's God for me. Time for you to step back up to the plate. Reach on in there. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> um, this is really not good. Um, I am not even happy about this. Um, a, a, a very old banana peel. Reach your hand out. You're absolutely correct. Oh, 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 it's an old banana peel. With honey. With honey. <laughs> oh, how come he gets succulent? Okay, it's going to Daniel, go ahead and reach in. Feels like some more honey. <laughs> <laughs> he talked about okay. cleaning a barf before, Dan. Is uh, anything it coming be. to mind? It might be. It might be. I'm going to go with cucumber and honey. Yeah, yeah. Bring your hands back out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay, let me get some water on that too. What is it? Friends, it is pickle and yogurt. Oh, oh. my favorite. <laughs> oh yeah. That was my next. That was my I next guess. I double dare Dan that to was eat one next, of those pickles. That was my next guess. Good. Oh my like, goodness, Daniel's gonna. It's all like. Uh, I love it. Ew. Final question for you guys. Is a hot dog a sandwich or not? <laughs> You're like, out of everything we could have been at. Hey, where'd that no, come what? from? So, what yeah, the uh, sandwiches is one of my favorite food groups. Oh, and, um, <laughs> I the expert here. And uh, uh, for me, uh, yeah, it does not fall under the sandwich family unless I turn it into a sandwich. The material is made out of is basically flat. I love this. Okay. Um, so, it, so it, it it comes to the point of it's it's not brown. Okay. Can I, can I challenge him? <laughs> yeah. That might go for it. Please. Is Jimmy John's a sandwich? That is Ooh, a sandwich. Yeah, it's a sandwich. That's a flat. That's, well, that's the material, a torpedo, right? the material, <laughs> the material inside of the bread is flat. <laughs> and and walking up to Jimmy John's sandwich shop, it's not a Jimmy John's round sandwich shop. It's not Jimmy John's hot dog. Oh, oh my gosh. So, is a hamburger a sandwich? Oh. A hamburger would I would I would throw that under sandwich. You would have to wow. under your definition of flat, right? Yeah. Hamburger. You heard it here, folks, from Daniel. Now Mike. Actually, yeah, I, well, I am in the it's a sandwich without question, without question. But I think Dan's on to something. Okay. Uh, I think there's going to be a new store coming, Dan's Hot Dog Emporium <laughs> Sandwich Shop. 
but he's going to take hot dogs and slice them all flat. And then, then you got a sandwich. And then it's a sandwich. And then you got a sandwich. <laughs> so I think Dan just came up with the most entrepreneurial great thing I've ever heard of, Dan. Hot dog, Whoa. Sandwich. Hot dog sandwich. It would People no longer be. that out of here at some point. It would no longer be a hot dog. Hey. It would be a hot dog sandwich. Reach in the mystery box. <laughs> it's a, uh, I'm going with some kind of a binder, like a notebook binder. Notebook binder, all right, go ahead and grab your hand back out. It is a, a Chewbacca, Chewbacca riding. <laughs> Final mystery box. Okay. You can do it, you can do it. I can do it, I can do it. I got this, I got this. Go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is fruit cocktail. Fruit cocktail. You are technically pretty much right on point. Peaches. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to good. argue that. It was, <laughs> it was only peaches. <laughs> There's no cocktail to that. <laughs> Maybe at half point. <laughs> Well, with that being said, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Thank you for getting to know more about Mike and Dan. You can definitely, you can certainly ask Dan more about the hot dog Do. sandwich thing. Uh, we would love to hear more about that going forward. But um, thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you this weekend.